In Cambodia, palm sugar is considered to be a valuable ingredient in every household kitchen. With its soft taste, nose-catching aroma, and health benefits, palm sugar is frequently used in everyday cooking as well as coffee making. When compared to conventional white sugar, palm sugar is said to be superior by many Cambodian people. Specifically, in the province of Kampung Spu, palm sugar is also given the geographical indication status by the European Union. With an abundant number of palm trees growing all over the land, especially in the countryside and rice paddies, traditionally harvesting the sweetness from palm tree is still a common practice for many Cambodian villages. Being a national tree for the country, Palm tree exhibits so many useful parts. Its leaves can be used to make roofs or walls for huts as well as hats. Their trunks can be made into small rowing boats, house pillars, small chairs and everyday equipment such as plate, cups or brooms. And their branches can be turned into decorations. Of course, their sweetness can be used for large varieties of cuisines ingredients such as soup, desserts, cakes, wine, vinegar, and many more. Moreover, palm trees also resemble the prominent landscape of Cambodia, especially in watercolor paintings. The season that is highly suitable to make palm sugar is around the start of November to the end of June. Living in Takoh village, Predak commune, Bantisarai district, Simri province, Metlo is one of the few seniors in his village who make palm sugar for a living. I <coughs> ឡោកនេះគឺយើងយកចាប់ដើមគឺពីខែ <coughs> 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 Palm juice is essentially important in making palm sugar. The juice is absolutely sweet as it slowly drops from the palm flower. In addition, the flower can either be female or male as distinguished by their appearance. The male flower has a lengthy appearance whereas the female ones has brown lumps on them. Moreover, the female flowers were eventually transformed into actual fruits if kept longer. To obtain those precious droplets from the flower, one must climb to the top of the palm tree using the improvised and rudimental bamboo stairs to apply pressure onto the flowers so that the juice can slowly escape. The squeezing technique can be different from place to place. However, Matt Lowe, with two decades of experience working in this field, has his own way of extracting the liquid. Firstly, he will observe which flower are ready to be compressed. He then compresses between four to seven days. His gadgets are simple because there are two devices at the moment that he uses and are specifically designed for each type of flower. The stick used for female flower is round and lengthy, while the gadget for male flowers has a flat surface at the end of the rod. There are usually three flowers per stem for male flowers in which the middle one will be automatically discarded. On the other hand, after a period of compressing the female flower, Metlo will cut away the lumps and the end of the flower. After applying pressure on both types of flowers, it is necessary to soak the flower in water for one whole day. Later, the flowers will be taken from the water container and will be sun-dried for another day. 
Eventually, Matlow will slice the end of the flower one to three times, exposing a few droplets of juice falling into the bamboo bottles. On daily, Matlow will climb to replace the old cuts with new ones, and at the same time, he has to exchange the bottle twice each day. <coughs> ຈັ່ງເອີຍັງກຽບອີ່ນັ້ນປະມານງ່າຍແດ່ຈັ່ງປະດາມຕຽບ <coughs> 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 ຈໍຕຶກນັ້ນມີໃນຖ້າຈໍຕຳເວຕາມປາກາເວຕາມປາກາຕາມປາການີ້ຕາມກາຊມູນຕາມຕັງອໍຕັງ Ban Most importantly, the bamboo containers must be sanitized. If it is not cleaned thoroughly, the juice will spoil easily. After the juice is transferred to the cooking pot for heating, the bamboo containers must be thoroughly washed and sun-dried before the last step of hot water sanitization. In some regions, they would burn the palm leaves and press those burning substances into the bottles to preserve the smell of the palm fruit. This technique will at the same time give out a pleasant smell while sanitizing the bottle entirely as well. Furthermore, in palm sugar production, one of the most important ingredient is popal. Popal is a type of tree that somehow has a bitter taste. Popal is important because it will turn palm juice into a sweet and tasty drink. If popal is not added, the juice will quickly turn murky and slimy as soon as it enters the bamboo bottles. Therefore, one or two small chops of popal will be added to the bottom of the containers to avoid that problem from happening. Popal is commonly used as part of the process, but due to its popularity, the people are constantly worried that it will run out one day. Furthermore, the pot that is used to boil the palm juice has several names. According to different regions, it can be either called Kok Sko or Pong Sko. Typically, it takes two to three hours to boil or evaporate away the water from the palm juice. And the quantity and the quality of palm sugar are highly dependent on the water and the condition of the soil and trees as well. The length of the flowers could alter the quantity of juice being collected. For example, the end of the flower to the midsection will make about 8 to 12 liters of juice. 
whereas from the midsection to the head of the flower will make about 8 to 10 liters. Throughout the boiling process, the heat must be well maintained and monitored. The heat should not be too hot for it will cause the sugar to burn. Therefore, before moving on to the next step, the degree of heat and color appearance must be carefully examined. In addition, the stirring tool is different according to the user preferences. Certain times it can be a single rod, or it can have a supporting leg. Even if one needs to make dry, powdery or liquid palm sugar, stirring cannot be overlooked because it will intensify the quality of the palm sugar to make it look fairer, accentuate the sweet aroma, and cause the natural particle like grain to rise up. After the heated process, the sugar will be left to chill and at the same time stir to avoid the sugar from turning into a dark red color. Next, the process of transferring the sugar into the mold should be done quickly as well. Otherwise, the sugar will harden within 2-3 to three minutes after being placed in the mold. In Cambodia, the molded or hardened palm sugar can be kept at room temperature and it will not melt. As for the liquid palm sugar, it can be kept up to one year. If you happen to see tiny round particles left at the bottom of the container and watery substances on the top in your liquid palm sugar, it indicates that the palm sugar is of good quality. ຫມួយກະດາດອ້ອຍຮຽງນົ້ນມີລະງູມີລະງູນໍເວເຖີຍຶງຈັກມາປ້ອມແນ່ມາປ້ອມປ້ອມແນ່ມາກ້ອມກ